I have a sneaky sensation that you clicked on this video because you too are trying to create a great fall cozy feeling in your house with minimal decor. Don't worry, I got the video for you. Today, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. I really wanted to take a slow approach to this whole fall decorating thing because I knew that I didn't have a lot of fall decor. So I kept that in mind when I was cleaning in the room that I was going to decorate in. I was very precise on where I was cleaning and I made sure I did a little bit more of a deeper cleaning to specific areas in this room. <music> that are returning to my channel thank you I appreciate you so much and hello if you are new if you are new and you've been coming back to my channel to watch these videos but you haven't subscribed yet I highly encourage you to subscribe I will be making plenty more fall videos and I have a ton of videos planned for Christmas time as well so I encourage you to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you are notified every single time I'm posting these videos. I wanted to go ahead and wipe down and dust off the entertainment center because it's not an area that I focus on very often when I'm just doing my regular day-to-day -day cleaning and it's also going to be a focal point for our decorations for fall so I wanted to get it dusted cleaned up and taken care of really quickly and then I'm gonna move on to this table right here this is our side table that we have turned into our charging station <laughs> and it gets really really dusty so even though I'm not going to decorate this area for fall it is just somewhere that needs to be dusted really quickly and while I have my cleaning products out I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe it down really fast This is our little bar area that separates our kitchen from our living room and it's probably hands down my favorite area out of the whole house. We keep our plants up here so it does get pretty dirty pretty quickly. So I wanted to get it all cleaned off because this was definitely an area that I wanted to decorate. Even if it didn't have a lot of decor up, I still really wanted to decorate this area. So I got everything wiped down really well and cleaned up. And then I moved down below it to where our dog eats. It's our little dog food table. And this area gets dirty really fast. And I clean this area all the time. This is definitely an area that I wipe off at least once a week. And it just needed some extra TLC this week because I really needed to wash the food and water containers. So I went ahead and got that taken care of that way after the decor and everything is put up I'm not constantly thinking oh well everything else is pretty but this is dirty so I went ahead and got that taken care of
you're probably noticing a pattern at this point where I am cleaning off areas that I'm going to decorate but I'm also cleaning off areas that I'm not going to decorate and that's because the areas that I'm not going to decorate they still have dust and dog hair and just dirt on them and it needed to be cleaned up because when I walk into a room that I have freshly decorated I want it to feel very calm and just feel happy about it and I knew that because I'm decorating with such minimal fall decor I wanted to make sure that the focus was on the decor and when I walked into the room I wasn't so focused on any dirt in specific areas or dust or dog hair or anything like that. I got these like wood pieces that I'm putting up here I'm pretty sure I got I snatched these from my mom and dad's house I'm pretty sure I did I, I'm pretty sure that came from their house <laughs> so these are like really cute wood pieces and I stuck them up there there's three of them they're like three different sizes they are slightly not showing on this side but from the side from the view of the kitchen you can see them fully and I love that because they're kind of hidden in here but from the kitchen we still get that view of them <music> recently got this bead garland and it is so adorable because it has a little ghost on it and it says boo and it's for Halloween and it's just so cute and especially for those of you that don't really decorate for Halloween but you do decorate for fall I think this is like the perfect thing because it's not a whole lot of Halloween it's just a tiny bit right there and then I put this fall like miniature bead garland around this candle and I love it it's so cute okay so this sign I love so much technically I made it for my Bigfoot she shed store online but I liked it so much that I kept it myself and I just made a second one to post online um, and then I'm going to move over to the entertainment center and kind of get that decorated a little bit this was some leftover leaves that I had from the signs that I made and it was like the perfect size to just bundle up and put a little crocheted pumpkin on it and I love it it is so adorable and then I added some pumpkins to the middle of the entertainment center and then on the left side I have like a little crocheted technically it's a crocheted like car hanger with a ghost and a pumpkin on it but I decided to add it to the entertainment center and this is what everything looks like been here I'm a little late on this bandwagon I can't see anything because I have to take my glasses off because the lights behind the camera and it uh, well doesn't do well with glasses I don't like people with glasses fall is here we're all excited about it so <laughs> no we're not <laughs> so what do I always have to say so <gasps> so I need to get a life.